Hi everyone, it's Mr. Greg, and here's the recap for Bethesda's Sunday School from September 27th, 2020. Our story of Moses concludes this week with the story of the Red Sea. Last time, Moses confronted Pharaoh and told him to let the Hebrew people go free. Pharaoh eventually did. However, after the Hebrew people left Egypt, he changed his mind and decided to chase them. Trapped between a large body of water called the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army, the Hebrew people were scared. However, Moses told everyone God would save them, and he raised his staff over the water. The wind of God parted the waters, and the Hebrew people crossed on dry land. When Pharaoh's army tried to follow them, the water came crashing down on top of them. The Hebrew people had been saved, and they praised God with songs and dancing. This whole time, we've been talking about how God does the extraordinary using ordinary people and things. An ordinary wind blew over the Red Sea, but with extraordinary power, causing the water to part and giving the Hebrew people a chance to escape. It's important for us to know that in times where we don't think there's much hope, God is always able to save us. We are just ordinary people, but we are loved by an extraordinary God. This week, our craft is making our own artwork using wind, and here's how it works. Okay, so here's what you're going to need for this craft. You're going to need a piece of paper, light colored, some bubbles, some paint, washable paint, a cup to mix it all in, a straw, and... Uh, you can have a bubble wand to mix it all together. So, you're going to pour some bubble solution into your cup, drip just a little bit of washable paint into the cup. Since we're doing the Red Sea, we'll use red. Mix it all together with your bubble wand. And now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can blow bubbles with a straw. Remember to blow don't suck in the bubbles. That would be bad. Blow bubbles with your straw. Make a big mound of bubbles on top, and then you can lay your paper over the bubbles, or you can make a lot of bubbles and spread them like this, and you'll get a bubble print like this. Eh, so then the next thing you could do is you could use your wand, and you could blow bubbles if I could get some bubbles going. Okay, that's not working. So you can drip bubbles <laughs> with your bubble wand and then blow the water that you have on your sheet of paper with your straw and make bands of color. So you're making bubble prints. Uh, okay, so those aren't perfect, but you kind of get the idea. Here's the thing. You're going to get more color whenever you use things like dyes or food coloring versus using things like washable paint, which are going to be a little bit fainter. But um, good luck. Good job, everybody. I hope your bubble prints turn out a little bit better than mine. And we will see you next time when we'll be talking about the Apostle Paul. See you then.